Hey there, and welcome to our HighShots Core Figma tutorial. In this video, I'm going to go through some of the features that we have in the plugin, mainly how you do charts, how you do your own custom theming, as well as bringing in your own custom data. So let's look into it. Okay, let's make our first chart. To do so, select a frame, and when you do, the plugin will tell you what you can insert and how it would look before inserting it. If I wanted to, for example, insert a pie chart here, I can tell it, okay, I want four pieces. And if I wanted to randomize the data a little bit more, I can click here. From here, I can click the insert chart. And voila, you have a pie chart. If I want to change it to a donut instead, I can click here. I can make the circle donut bigger, smaller. Click the update and it will update. The great thing about the plugin is that if you already made a chart and clicking on that frame would simply load it into the editor here, meaning that if you create it once, you don't have to recreate it. It's already saved, meaning that you can tweak all your designs going forward using the plugin. That's pretty nifty. We have different types of charts. We have lines, pie donut as you've seen, area charts, bar and column in here because you can do the horizontal, vertical, and of course a gauge. So that's charts. In the plugin, you select theme to see that we have already a default theme called Vika Fjell. You'll find the theme and where to change it in your local variables. You'll find that in your right hand side on the local variables panel. When you click it, you'll get a UI looking like this. Make sure that you selected the correct collection named High Charts Core in the top. And from here, you can see all the variables that you can change. Now I have the dark mode selected and the charts already are made. If I want to change the background color, let me get this out of the way. If I want to change the background color for it, I click on the background color here on the dark one. And when I change it, they all change immediately. This is great if you want to have built out a system and you want to change all the things in one place. It's also great if you already have a library of colors that you already predefined and you just want to use them. So if you in a later state want to change all your core colors, they will also be changed on all the chart colors as well. So that's how theming works. If I want to make one more theme, I simply right click here and then I say duplicate group and name it something else. And when you relaunch the plugin, that extra theme will be selected inside of here and you can use that instead. Be aware that for Figma, a free tier might only give you one mode, meaning one light mode and no dark mode. And a bigger tier can have two or multiple ones. So be aware of that it might only on a free tier give you one of them and not two. So that's how you do theming. Okay, let me show you how you do custom data in the plugin. Let's say I've already some data I got from my developer and I really want to show it on the design. So what I would do is go into the data tab, select new and from here, give it a name so it's easier for me to find again. And from here, I simply paste in the CSV data I got. I click Save Data, and now it's part of the list. I can edit it one more time by clicking here, or I can delete it completely if I click here. Now, when clicking on a frame, I want to do a chart, let's say a bar chart, and I select the data list here. I click my name, and voila, I have the data shown inside of the preview. When I click, it's shown on the chart. That's how easy it is. All right, that's how you use the plugin. That's how you make charts, your own theming, and also bring in your own data. We really want your feedback on how we can improve this plugin. So please leave a comment on this video or do so on our community page on Figma. Thank you for watching and see you next time.